Hello everyone and welcome back to the 100th Bay Beach Challenge. I hope that you're all having an awesome day and Mr. Keith Richards is letting our, his hair down and it is only 7.30 in the morning. Now it's a snow day today so the kids are all going to be kept with us all day and it is super duper beautiful and snowy and I love it and it's just perfection. Roxy is watching the children's channels because because we're going for the mama -ma multiples so she needs to I don't know why I said it like that guys she needs to do that now why is the bus came for them when it's a snow day because all that happens is they go on the bus and then they get sent home from school and it's just it's just a pain but you know what if you want to go then then on you go batter in do whatever makes you happy. Now, the twins are currently, one of them is sleeping. Emma is sleeping and Cameron is in the playpen. He knows how to talk and everything like that, so that's absolutely fine. With Spencer, he's finishing off his painting and I want to get... Uh, I want to get Jamie over because I want them married. I would love them to get married today. I don't know if they will. If she comes over, we can get them to go out and have a nice private ceremony somewhere. Because I totally want him to have that, you know. What? Oh, what? You don't feel like coming over right now. Jamie, you suck. Right, just... He's like that. Screw you. <laughs> right, we'll just phone her and chat with her then. Maybe she needs buttered up a little bit. Do that first. And then we'll get her over. Because you really do care about her, so, you know. It would be good if you actually did have your have your wicked way with her. So we have no one left because they are all at school. So it is up to our Mamma Mia here to come and get Mr. Here. So pick up Cameron. Now me and April have been or April and I have been talking about the whole snow day thing because in my opinion, snow day makes this super duper hard. And I'll just explain to you you know why I, I mean that so one of the uh, 100 baby challenge rules is that you can age up your teenagers whenever they have reached an A at school or the honour roll and the way that they get on the honour roll is to have an A three days in a row so that's absolutely fine in the summer and spring and things like that when they can go to school three days in a row however when it's snowing they don't ever really go to school three days in a row. So you're at a distinct disadvantage because of seasons, because of the expansion pack, because Baby Challenge was written before seasons. So my thoughts are, and I suggested this to April and she's all for it, is that if they have like an A in school two days in a row and then it's a snow day, we can then take that. That would be the day they would be on the honour roll. So... With that being said, that then means that we can age up Hugo and Bailey since they both have A's. So yes, they will be aging up. Jamie, what is your freaking problem? Seriously, they are like what? They're they're practically married. Is it is it Venkat, Jamie? Is is she is he is he stopping you? Where does she stay? You know, 'cause there's there's nothing to say that we can't go and, and get her. Venkat, Venkat, Venkat. That's what we're looking for, guys. We're looking for Venkat. Look at all the Reagans. <laughs> oh, you see, everywhere you look in this town, it's like Reagan, 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 Nolan, Kincaid. Oh, we've even got some homeless ones. Sad times. That's, what, that's where Natasha started. And look... Can't, I think that's Finn that's possibly there. So, do you maybe live in one of the fancy Nancy houses? Palmer McKinley, Palmer Flanagan, Not Daily, Regan. Oh, Regan's done well for herself, look at her. Uh, Palmer Wozni, Zimmerman, Regan Sotelo, Cotton Regan, A Park, <laughs> Pick Nick in Time. Righty ho, so I can't find I can't find her. She's she's like oh she's not daily. I'm looking for Venkat. No wonder. I'm an idiot. <laughs> not daily. Um okay, well it's a private residence. So I don't know 
<laughs> Maybe this is why she doesn't want to come over because it's, it's pouring of snow and she's in this lovely big house and, you know. Uh, right, Spencer, come and ring her door. Come and, come and ring her freaking bell. Because she's been ridiculous. She's been... Our house is smashed. <laughs> Can't even speak. Her house is absolutely smashing. Look at that. I think it beats our house, Spencer. <laughs> I think it beats our house. Not by much. I mean, our house is not bad. Our house is not bad. But, you know. Right. So what are we doing then? So you're teaching him to walk. Because once he knows how to walk, we can then age up the, uh, the twins. Once he knows how to... Once he knows how to walk, we can definitely do that. Do I have anyone at home with me right now? Uh, nope, don't think so. Because what's going to happen is he's been sent home from school because it's a snow day, but she's not going to register that it's a snow day and she's going to end up grounding him or something. So that's going to be rather annoying. Let's come ahead and have a quick meal of cereal. And it's starting to render eventually. It's just because of the this game. I mean, I've got all these sims and stuff, so it does take its toll, as you can imagine. Do you have any any girls home with me? Yes, I do. Good. Right, come and... Not well. I suppose you could snuggle her, but let her out. I want to see what she knows how to do. I wish I could see his bar. Are, are you going to fill up with the bar? Right, so Spencer is at the residence. Are you going to be... Oh no, he's not. He's at the blooming... The blooming subway. Right, come on, Spencer. Let's... Let's do this. I, I would like you to have a romantic ending, honey. Because you're not going to be here forever. You know, I hope that you'll last a good few extra parts. Because Cinderella's a hundred, so... You know, you've still got it in you. Nobody's at home. Who's that? Helmet. That's your. Is that your son? No. No, that can't be your son because Helmet was going it with Ollie. So surely, surely not. Because that's just wrong. <laughs> right, someone is in now. So let's let's ring the bell because we can always wait in her. There we go. Be invited inside. Stumza. Okay, excellent. Spencer has learned that. No! Go in here. Oops. Oops, oops. Go here. Spencer, you're just invited in. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so Spencer is going to wait because he's a stalker. <laughs> Let's have a look at this house. Let's have a look. Oh, my, my, my. Okay, I don't like that table. I don't know why you would have four tables, but okay. So this is pretty awesome then. This is this is definitely a a big a big house. So we've got a bedroom there. Then we've got. I like the split levelness. I think that's really cool, and I like this room in particular. So it's only two bedrooms, but like big bedrooms. Yeah, I think it is actually. Tell you that's unusual. Right, Spencer, well, you've been invited in, so why don't you come and uh, let's have a quick cereal and hopefully, <laughs> hopefully they're not like that. What? Uh, in fact, let's invite her out first and see. Not invite her out. No, 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 no. Don't invite her out. Invite her over. Because it invites her over to where you are. I know that this seems like stalker extraordinaire, but in my mind, I am a... You're about to head out for a few minutes. You're a liar! I'm right here! You liar, liar, pants on fire, Jamie. I am at your house. You are not about to head out anywhere. <laughs> You're not even in the house. Oh my goodness. Okay. So, it looks like Spencer's not going to get his day in the sun with Jamie. Which is really, really sad. So let's just send him home. I'm quite sad about that, actually. After all of that, he has to then go home. What a biatch. <laughs> what 
What a biatch doing that to our Spencer. Absolutely ridiculous. No, no, don't put him back in there, darling. Don't put him back in there. I want you to check what he needs. Did you do everything that he needs? Uh, right, so why are you not teaching him? Right, I need you to teach him to walk. Yeah, I know that uh, he's, he's really tired. We'll see. I mean, I don't think he's got that much to go. So let's just keep going. Actually, something... Well, we know something came up because you didn't bother your ass. Oh, excuse me. You didn't bother your ass. <laughs> um, yeah. All right. So, Danik, then, what are you doing? You're using the dishwasher. Is that fixed now? It is good. So I want you to come and, no, not scrap your dad's painting. Come and take this painting. Because I want to get him up with the old uh, art skills as well. Because somebody's going to have to paint Roxy's next gen, whoever that may actually be. So go ahead and practice your small painting. And then when our lovely Spencer Denser gets home, he can have himself a quick uh, meal. And then what we're going to do is get him to... Uh, we're going to get him to make some more fertility potions. Yes, we are. So that is the plan. The plan, Stan. And we're going to age up Bailey because, like I say, she's got an A in school. So, you know, that's fair enough. I don't know what's happened to Marianne. Marianne's got a D. <laughs> so I really don't know why she she has got that. And I know these guys are triplets and normally I keep them all together, but I'm conscious of the fact it's a huge household and, you know, Roxy will be giving birth again. So let's go ahead and um, trigger our Bailey's age transition. Who's that? Oh, baby, I know you're hungry, darling, but you know, you know, you know. And it means that I can move her and Hugo out at the same time. And hopefully it doesn't glitch on me. Hopefully not. Come on. Happy birthday, Bailey Boo. Because of her success in school, you can choose a trait. Disciplined, artistic, brave, hates the outdoors and friendly. Lovely trait. What a lovely trait. What a terrible outfit, <laughs> but a lovely treat, nonetheless. What would you like to be, darling? Let's make you a master of the arts. Why not? Let's go ahead and do that. So much shaking as a maracas. Okay, Hugo, Hugo Boss, you are next, but we'll we'll let her, we'll let this kind of madness chill out a wee bit. My God, that's so loud. <laughs> There's just like so much, so much later. Okay, so now that that's done, let's go ahead and do Hugo Boss. Hugo, Hugo Boss. We can also do Emmy as well. Emmy? No, her name's Emma. Emma, Laura, not Emmy. So let's go ahead and age him up. And then what we can do is move out uh, Hugo and Marianne. No, Hugo and... So many Sims, so many names. Hugo and Bailey, Hugo and Bailey, Hugo and Bailey. They can all move out together, so yeah. All right, because of his success in school, we can choose a trait. Let's do that. He's a light sleeper, grumpy, perceptive, eccentric, and a good sense of humor. With that outfit, he certainly does have a good sense of humor. Like seriously, what are you wearing? Still got a nice, a nice old bod on him though, I have to say. Right, what do you want to be? Why don't you be a private eye? Why ever not? So let's go in and we'll do our magical mystery makeover tour. Now I'm only going to do Bailey's hair and her main clothes because we are shipping them out but we'll definitely go in and have a look and see how she grew up because I'm always interested to see, you know, the, she's a lovely looking child, teenager, so what's she like as a young adult? And get that hairstyle and burn it. So, so. Yeah, that hairstyle I would burn. I would burn. Oh, she's pretty. She is. She's kind of, she is pretty. We need to change that hair. Her mouth is in a funny position in comparison to her chin. It's a bit high up. <laughs> her mouth's nearly in the middle of her face. But uh, yeah, she's pretty. She's unique. 
let's just say that she's unique she is pretty um so let's go ahead and change her hair i'm probably just going to keep the hair that i had for her because i like it uh, I think that she really did suit it but what we will do because she has you know she's a young adult now she might want something a little bit different I'm going to go ahead and add in some I'm going to add in some different kind of colour tips I'm going to give her some sort of reddish what's that I'm going to ready highlights in her here oh no well Actually, that's quite nice. We could kind of make the base some more. We could go crazy and give her like purple hair. <laughs> we could make her look like, completely rebellious, but I don't. I don't think I'm going to do that. I don't think I'm going. To... What color? I can't even remember what color she was. Now was she that? I don't even think she was that. She wasn't as brassy as that, was she? Oh, I've messed up. I can't even remember. I can't remember. I know she was a blondie, but I can't. Let's just. Uh... Let's press this little back button here <laughs> and see what happens. Nope, she wasn't that. Let's see. Come on. Because she had the really nice mixture, I think, of Natasha and Roxy. Pretty sure. No? Okay, that seems to be the that seems to be the colour she was. So I'm talking absolute pants. That is her actual colour, so yeah, whatever Laura. So well, why don't we see if we can add in some No, I didn't mean to do that. Did not mean to do that. That would give her stripes like that. Hmm, I don't know what I'm trying to achieve here. I think I should just get a grip. <laughs> right, we'll just we'll go with that. That's her hair colour. Okay, that's that's her hair colour. And I'm gonna do a makeover. What this is probably the worst freaking outfit I've seen in a long time in these random makeovers. So let's go ahead and do that and as always I'll get back to you. Alright, and here she is, just a really casual top and jeans. I don't think that she's anything you know, she's not her super super duper glam she's not baby in dresses and, and heels and whatnot she's just your kind of casual relaxed sort of ghetto so there you are mr hugo 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 who looks kind of like a bit of a pilgrim at the moment a, -a, 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 a pilgrim at the moment we'll edit him let's go and see what he looks like entering create a household brunard dar Okay, so, terrible outfit, awful, awful outfit, but nice body, nice body shame about the outfit. <laughs> uh, let's just go ahead and put the same hair on him because, you know, oh, love that hair, I love it, love it, love it. Yeah, you're handsome, you've got lovely high cheekbones, yes, I think you, I think you are spoofingly gorgeous, yes, lovely. Okay, so that was easy. Easy, easy. So let's go ahead and see what clothes we could put on him. We can make him like a kind of a funky dude. I kind of like that. Definitely not the shoes. Definitely not the shoes. Like I say, I'm not going to do like a complete makeover with these guys because we are literally going to ship them out. But I do want to make sure they've got at least one nice outfit. So yeah, that is our Hugo Boss. And I always feel, it's always kind of bittersweet when you start to move them out because Special. you kind of feel like you're going somewhere, you feel like you're progressing, that you're getting through the challenge, but at the same time, you do become kind of attached to these kids. You do, you absolutely do. Okay, Spencer, my lovely, sweet, darling of a man, come here and mix uh, some elixirs. That would be absolutely wonderful. If you could do that for me. Wonderful. So, so wonderful. And then... What are you doing with her, Bailey? Bailey, she's ta is she tired? No, she's hungry. Bailey, why would you do that to her? Right, anyway, but Bailey, you're uh, head them up, move them out. So, let's... Uh, let's uh, real estate and travel move within this neighbourhood. 
I have a feeling that they will tell me there is no available housing, which seems to be the favourite thing they'll have to tell me during this, so we will see what comes up. If not, I can just add in a couple of wee things. So get Spencer to make some procreation elixirs so that uh, Roxy has a good stash. Um, you're taking with you Hugo. I'm gonna kick you out. I'm really sorry. I do love you very, very much, but you you have to leave. You and Hugo have to go. Hey ho, got to go. <laughs> I'm such a dork. Such a dork. Um, yes, this will be the new household. There are no unoccupied residential lots in the town. Do you wish to render the family homeless? No. No, I do not. I will not render any of my family homeless. That's, that's just not going to happen. So, guys, I will be right back once I have found them a home. Alrighty, so we've sorted out the little house issue and they are now moving out the house. I wish I'd sorted it out earlier now, look at the mess of that. So they are now going to stay down in the regular place. Now, sweetheart, I want you to come and get yourself something to eat because, you know, what to do actually? Oh, Spencer. Okay, Procreation Alexa, my darling. I want you to come and serve some... Why don't you go and bake some chocolate chip cookies for your kiddies? Who's upset? Someone is screaming their wee face off. What's up with you? There's absolutely nothing wrong with you. Go and play with the something. Go and do something nice. Go and do something super nice. You getting on alright, Spencer? Making sure you get the procreation elixirs in for us. He's made three already, so let's transfer them over to Roxy. Okay. So. What? What? What's going on? Oh no! Oh no! No! Does the Grim Reap Is the Grim Reaper not coming for him? Does he get to stay in the- Oh, <laughs> It doesn't become real till the Grim Reaper comes for him. Right, can you beg him for another- No, don't take a photo with the Grim Reaper. Like, I mean, beg him for another chance. No. No, don't take him. Oh, no. I'm gutted. Absolutely gutted. Got heed. No. And in a completely selfish way, that means Roxy is not going to have a great pregnancy either. Uh, Keith Regan is starting to feel a bit ill. Oh, Spencer, you were amazing. You literally were one of the best Sims I have ever had. If some of you have just joined me this season, you're wondering, Spencer was the very, very first child of Natasha. Natasha was there and Spencer was the very first boy. So the fact that he's dead is really, really sad. It's like, oh, it gives me shivers down my spine how sad it is. So look at that family tree. That family tree is enormous. Look at it. My God. But yeah, that's really sad. I'm really, I'm really sad about that. Um, okay, so I think we'll maybe keep the urn down here. Because if we keep the urn down here, it means that we will get to, you know, see him from time to time when he'll he'll come, and it means that uh, Derek will be able to spend some time and and see his dad and stuff like that. Can you engrave it? What can you engrave it with? Oh, honor Spencer Rager with a few kind words. Right, guys, leave below. Leave below your. You, what you want me to engrave it as okay so leave below your suggestions and I'll pick the one that gets the most uh, thumbs up so if you see one that you really like thumbs it up or if you have your own suggestion then leave it down below and let someone else thumbs it up so we're going with the most thumbs up so even if something's only got three thumbs up if nothing else has got thumbs up we're going with that one so leave down below what you want it to say on Spencer's grave and I'll pick that for not the next part because I'm going to record that after this but the part after 
that. So leave me your words, okay? So we're just going to hit that just now so that we can go back and do that. Oh, Spencer, Spencer. I'm so freaking sad. I can't, I can't even believe it. Right, can you just continue making your cookies then? So I think uh, I think I love Spencer so much because he's dedicated his life to this cause as well, you know, because he could have went away and did his own business and things like that, but no, he stayed behind and, you know, he helped out with the kids and did a whole bunch of stuff. He was just, he was just brilliant. He was just brilliant. And he never got to finish his painting. Sad, sad times. So... <clears throat> Uh, you're hungry, honey, and I know that you're you're obviously devastated. But why don't you come and cook some uh, mac and cheese? And she oh, here we go. I was just going to say she hasn't found out she's pregnant yet. So as with every death, every death that occurs, a baby is born, obviously, and she's just about to find out that she is preggers with her next batch of babies. So. Let me know how you feel below. I, f I feel quite gutted. I knew it was going to happen. I had wished that we'd got married to that Jane person, but she completely ruined it. Like, she completely ruined it by not coming over. She really is a big ruiner. <laughs> now, what I'll probably do is, in the next part, I'll probably skip the next couple of days until she's ready to, to burst. Because, as you know, whenever a sim dies, you get this moodlet. For two whole days, you get the morning moodlet. And I don't know about you guys, but I don't fancy listening to this for like a couple more episodes. So, <laughs> I will be skipping it. So, the next part will be Roxy giving birth. So, that is that will be it. And, uh... Right, what's up with you? You're fine as well. Just come and entertain yourselves, children. Entertain your little minds for a little moment. So, Maria, can you come out to the sand and come and do something productive? Uh, is that broken? No, it's just booby trapped. So why don't you come and play some chess? Someone told me that if you do stuff on the computer that, you know, it does help get you on the honour roll quicker and stuff. So, if that's the case, then we definitely want to be doing that. Absolutely. Why don't you come and take out the trash? We'll get the kids to kind of help around the house a little bit. Alison, what's up with you, honey? You in Spencer's bed. Oh, Spencer. Spencer, Spencer, my lovely Spencer. What are you doing? Just looking out the window, as you do, as you do. You're tired, so why don't you go to bed? I don't even know where your bed is, Jasmine. But to be honest, just go and sleep anywhere. <laughs> if you're tired, you're tired. Isaac is heading to bed. Keith is feeding the stuff. Keith, one darling, up you come and go in there, and then you can get into your you get into your bed. Sleep. So, yes, so it is night time and I think we only have a couple of minutes left before the duck of doom sounds. So we'll see what we can get with, with her here. Like, no, don't... Oh, did you burn that? Roxy, it's not like you. Go and, okay, eat leftovers then. Eat leftover two food dogs. Now, she wants to have a boy, so we'll promise that. And she wants to eat mac and cheese, so... See if you do their wants, apparently, just serve some mac and cheese. Apparently if you do their wants, it does actually help the, them get multiples. Whether or not that's true is yet to be seen, but you know, you know me. I'll try anything once and twice to make sure that I like it. <laughs> or I do make sure I don't like it even. So what are you doing? Are you going to read him a bedtime story? Yes. Okay, you, you go ahead and, and you do that then. And we will get Roxy, Foxy, Roxy. We'll get her to uh, make her stuff. So yeah, I hope that you're okay with me skipping the next couple of days. Um, these guys are due to age up in four days, so they'll be fine skipping. I might age them up, actually. Let's just, let's just quickly go ahead and do that. Actually, let's go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to save my game first, and then I'm going to age them up. 
Alrighty guys, so I tried to save my game and I was getting um, error code 12, which if anyone plays The Sims, you know that error code 12 is a disastrous code. It means that this particular portion of gameplay cannot be saved. But I'm going to upload this anyway because all I'm going to do is take it back to a previous save and just play through to, to this time. Events won't change, Spencer will still die, you know, all that sort of jazz. But uh, my apologies for this very unprofessional ending. <laughs> but let's face it guys, this channel is not professional. We're just friends chilling out and having fun but uh, error code 12 is quite stressful i've not had it on this pc before i had it on my laptop all the time but you know this is an old save but don't worry i've got loads of backup saves so it'll be fine i just need to go to one of them and then just play just play on through so don't worry everything's fine everything's hunky dory but again leave me below what you want spencer's epigraph or whatever the heck it's called to be and yeah and i'll talk to you in the very next part i love you guys bye